I played Roger Collins. He was my anchor, so to speak. And what was he like? He was fun to play because he was, he wasn't a happy man. He, he had gone through his part of the inheritance and that made him sort of a chip off the old block. And, but it was all that stuff grist of the mill, you see, to play that. He, his sister, uh, Roger's sister was Joan Bennett, Elizabeth Stoddard Collins, and we adored each other off set and on set too, and it was great fun to have raging fights and battles with her because we'd be looking at each other with nothing but pure love in our eyes. And then when it was over, we'd laugh. When I heard that Joan was going to be our star and that I was going to be her younger brother, I was thrilled. But I think I played it kind of cool because I, I didn't, I don't know, I don't know what, how to defend that decision. But at any rate, we got along beautifully. And we became friends off stage. She'd come out to my house in Long Island, and I would go to her house in Scarsdale. And we were like really brother and sister off stage, off set. I'm from the South, and we sound, some of us, a type of Southern speech is English. Uh, not, the, not the rapidity with which the English people speak, but it's a first cousin to my ear, and most of my training at school and college was in the classics, and you can't speak with a southern accent if you're going to play Shaw or, uh, or um, um, Shakespeare or uh, Chekhov. So many people have thought all my life in New York think I'm English, and it's worked for me and it worked against me. But uh, I can't change that now. Though I do have an ear for it, and uh, wherever I am, I sort of pick it up, you know. Luckily for me, I was not a quick study, but I was a middle way study. And I did my homework, especially when I had the good scenes to do the following day. And I, my routine would be to leave the studio and then go to my health club and get uh, completely relaxed in the steam room and then swim and then come up and go to the bar and have a martini and probably undo all the good that my health club was there for doing. And then I would go home and go to sleep uh, quite early and wake up with a guilt-ridden conscience and wait, study my lines and get them down under my belt and uh, go back to sleep and wake up and get on my bike. I was one of the first cyclists, really, in the city. Not like the paid messenger boys, but, and I would cycle through the park and get to the studio and we started running our scenes as well before you know it, dress rehearsal and taping. And we'd be through at 4.30 in the afternoon and all it starts all over again. It's hard work, and I could have kicked myself for those martinis and waking up in the middle of the night, but I established that sort of pattern for a while at any rate. Uh, it's hard work, and if uh, you have to conserve your energy, and I didn't know a thing about that in those days. I was young enough to take that sort of thing for granted, like you all are doing this moment. But uh, you, you learn what you have to do to get the best out of yourself. And uh, when you see that red eye go on, it's, it's you and it. <laughs> and it's up to you to satisfy what you set out to do. Jonathan would agree with me that he was terrified his first year, and he's not quite as quick a study as I was. Uh, it, he, and that worried him a lot. And he, but he got used to his own capabilities and limitations and what, ex, what he could do extra hours, as I had found out I could do. And he, he, he got on to the routine of it, and it worked for him. Uh, <laughs> he's so funny. I have to tell you a fun story about <laughs> he was at Yale doing a season Cleopatra, and <laughs> he was famous for missing lines, but he didn't mean to be funny. They were having a dress rehearsal, and as Caesar, he comes out on the stage and sees Cleopatra coiled in the Sphinx, and he says, Hail Caesar! Line. <laughs> and, <laughs> and so it went that night. <laughs> Hail, 
Hale. Hale Sphinx, I think he should have said. That's it. He was Caesar. You see how I am. It's the end of the day, folks. So. 